Welcome to the 7th Student Academic Leadership Conference 2022. The UNESCO Cambodia has always been organizing this series of Student Academic Leadership Conference. It's a conference that organized by uh, our students to promote their leadership role and their management, but more importantly is their responsibility. The theme for this year conference is on the future of leadership in a challenging world. And of course, the uh, overall specific topic is on how to prepare young leaders uh, to assume for the leadership roles. When we talk about leadership, we talk about different kinds of leadership, there are different levels of leadership. And of course, uh, when we talk about leadership, we talk about how to lead not only others, but also ourselves. How to lead organizations and institutions, even companies. The way we look at it is that for the future of leadership lies entirely on the young leaders, the young generation, who are assuming uh, the leadership role at present, but also more importantly in the future. Now, of course, for the uh, young leaders, particularly for students at the university, they have the most important opportunity. They have the best opportunity to prepare themselves to play uh, a critical leadership role in the future in the different sectors, uh, in their careers, but also more importantly, in uh, their uh, lives, but also in their future respective uh, works that they're going to assume. The way I look at the uh, future of leadership, particularly in this challenging world, and for the young leaders, that they would have to uh, develop a number of uh, important uh, criteria or factors. One, of course, is that uh, to prepare themselves, they have to focus on education and training. Education and training would help them to prepare how they would uh, engage the different uh, sectors of society. Uh, this is very, very important, particularly how they communicate, how they interact, uh, how they get involved or participate in any kind of decision-making process. So uh, what is important is that the role of education and training that uh, the young leaders will have to ensure that they get proper uh, training and education. Uh, second, of course, uh, they have to make sure that they develop good habits. Uh, in life, I think we uh, have all kinds of habits, but it's important to have very good habits. Uh, the power of habits are very, very important. Uh, good habits meaning that uh, they are able to develop uh, a sense of purpose in life because leadership uh, requires a sense of purpose, what they want to accomplish in, in the leadership role or leadership position that they uh, would be able to assume. And then that's why it's important for the uh, young leaders to understand that uh, forming good habits are very important. The other thing, of course, is the habit of uh, developing a good reading culture. They always say the readers, today's readers, tomorrow's leaders. So the ability to read and write and to think critically is very, very important and also to conduct uh, more of a scientific research. Uh, that's, that's very, very important. Uh, at the end of the day is that young leaders will have to be able to, uh, to read, to analyze, and to research. And that's very, very important. That would be also a very good habit. The other thing, of course, is that the other good habit is the power of positive thinking, and positive actions. Young leaders, the temptation, but also the tendency to think and to view the world from a negative point of view. So what's important is that they have to develop this good habit of think positively, of look at the world positively, look at the career, and of course, the leadership role in a positive manner, how they can make positive contribution to the work, to their own institutions, and the world at large. So it's very important. So these are some of the things that we have to look at how we develop an overall uh, 
good habits in the way we conduct our work and the way we lead our life. The other important factor would be we must be able to have passion, passion in what we do, the drive, the stamina, the passion, the grit, the ability to do the things uh, passionately without getting tired, but of course to keep go on and on and never give up on the things that we do. And that's very, very, very important, particularly I think the passion to do the things that we want to do. The other factor, of course, is about commitment and diligence. I think particularly, particularly the key here, the key word is diligence. One ha must have the ability to engage in the work very diligently, despite obstacles, despite the challenges. But of course, uh, a young leader would continue to uh, proactively engage in the work before uh, themselves but also to make sure that they are able to achieve the goal that they have set for themselves. The other factor would be very, very important is to have discipline. Discipline is very important. Why? Because without discipline, it's like a car without a brake. So we must be able to develop a sense of discipline in everything we do. In the life, the kind of life that we want to lead, we must have disciplines. Another factor is also very important. Besides uh, discipline, we must have a key principle in our life. We must develop a sense of uh, leading a life with important principle. What we, we do, we have to make sure that uh, we stay focused on, on the good works, on the, on the work that will benefit not just ourselves, but also the community and the society in the world at large. And that's what leadership is all about. Finally, I think I want to come back to the issue of uh, what I call sacrifices. In life, in leadership, in what we do, we must be able to make sacrifices. Okay? It is all about, it's not about taking an easy approach or stay in the comfort zone but rather is to take a, a, a challenging approach and to get out of the comfort zone and to take on the challenging responsibility. And that is very, very important is that at the end of the day, we must sacrifice this, the easy approach. We must sacrifice the short-term approach and look at the more long-term, more inclusive, more beneficial, and more open uh, approach to the things we do. Leadership is about how to bring together everyone to work as a team, to act in collaboration, and to focus on achieving the goals, achieving the purpose that we have set before. And that's all about leadership. And I hope uh, our students who are attending this year's uh, Student Academic Leadership Conference uh, will be able to have an engaged discussion, open and frank discussion, so that they can benefit from, of course, uh, learning from each other, from the interaction that they have. And of course, more importantly, is to have the, uh, develop a sense of curiosity, a sense of want to learn more, a sense of trying, trying to improve oneself. Of course, in the process, uh, we will be able to make ourselves better and to make contribution, positive contribution to our society and the world at large. Thank you and wish you a, a very productive conference for our students and uh, wish you uh, very much success. Thank you.